Keeper. So now we're gonna play the Wanted Men's House. Yeah, it's a game I found on Instagram. So yeah, I loaded, I like started a new game to like see yeah, how it was, like, like to like check the sound and uh, all of that stuff. Hey mom, no it's hey man, not mom. Hey man, are you sure you're going to do this? Why did the killer find you? I will man. Imagine how famous I'll be with the footage. I look it all, I look, what? I look it all and put it in the CD paper. Well, it is your choice. Be careful, I heard that the police are already looking for him at his house. Good luck. Thank you, Ethan. So we go to the baby face killer's house. And uh, we, we, we found that like, okay, the, ba the baby face killer's house, okay. And uh, we Yeah, because my dude's a killer and we like want to do a research on him, okay? And the killer, he comes back home, okay? So now we're gonna go to his house when he's home. And, uh, I found it. Baby faces house. Baby face. Basement key. Can't open that. Keep searching. There's nothing. Go to the bathroom. There's nothing. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna read that though. If you wanna read that, you pause it. Oh, damn, it's long. Oh, not that long, okay. Okay, I'm gonna read. September 3rd, 1977. Today should have been like any other day. The sun shone high in the sky and happiness seemed to dance on every corner. I had an ordinary life, a loving wife and an adorable daughter. Little Annie was the light of my eyes and Melissa, my wife, was my safe haven. However, fate often cruel and decided to turn my existence into a nightmare. I fell victim to an indescribable tragedy. An accident, they said, a mistake, they claimed, but to me, it was a death sentence imposed on me by unknown hands and it's so innocent and full of life was taken from me melissa my great love was also ripped from this world in a way so abrupt and unjust there were no explanations no apologies just the darkness of loss i tried to understand i sought answers in the tears that insisted on falling in the scream that echoed in the emptiness of my soul and then Anger took hold of me, a rage that burned like fire, consuming everything that remained of my peace. They were not criminals aware of their deeds, they were just strangers, people who crossed our paths without realizing how much they took with them, but to me, they became the architects of my misfortune. The ones responsible for turning my world, my world into an abyss of despair. Bro, the, I can see the letters right, bro. Society tried to move on, ignoring the pain it carried in its bosom. But I could not do the same. The desire for justice turned into an ins insatiable thirst for revenge. Hatred became my only companion. Today, I look in the mirror and can only recognize the face staring back at me. 
the man I once was has been erased by the flames of suffering. Now only the shadow of a devastated father and shadow the husband remains, ready to make the world feel the same pain that was imposed on me. And so I become something else, not a man but a ruthless force seeking justice in the only language the world seems to understand, that of violence. Their crimes will be the soundtrack of my redemption and their body will be the ink that writes my name on the pages of history. May the darkness embrace me, no, may darkness embrace me, for I am what the light cannot illuminate. The mask I wear is the mask of my suffering, and each breath it muffles is a reminder of what I've lost. Okay. Okay, so now we're going in the basement. Ooh. Equip the crowbar. What oh, is nothing? Okay. Now in this room, what's in this room? Oh, a lock pick. Okay. That means I gotta. I'm gonna have to pick a locks. There's nothing. Okay, well, I'm, we're gonna have to pick lock to pick this lock. God, are those the bodies of the victims? Oh shit, there's a cup. Hey, but I'm just visiting the house. What are you doing here? There's a murderer on the loose. Oh shit. Oh shit, he said the same thing as me. Oh shit, secret room. Okay, I have to equip this.
Okay, so now there's a code here. Oh, okay. There's also something here. Okay. If you wanna read, you pause it, bro. Okay, so uh, in the shadowy alleys of despair, I encountered the first face to bear the weight of my pain. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. It was a chance meeting. Wait, what? A twist of fate that brought me to him. I recognized him not by name, but by the essence of darkness enveloping his being. Dude has a lot of has a lot of aura. His eyes widened in terror as recognition dawned on him. Recognition of the storm brewing in my soul. The fear in his gaze mirrored the terror that had settled in my heart since the fateful day. He begged for mercy, pleaded for his life as if life had never shown mercy to me. I reveled in the symphony of his hope, hopelessness and the rising intensity of his pleas falling on deaf ears. The one had been deaf to my cries and now it was time for him to experience the same silence. The taste of power was intoxicating. With uh, catch... That... What? What's, what word is that? With catch tremor in his voice, with each staining his face with each tear staining his face i felt the semblance of control return to me it was a sick satisfaction and bitter sweet melody harmonizing with the echoes of my anguish his pain became a cathartic relief for the torment that had haunted me for too long the blade in my hand an extension of my wrath danced with precision the crimson strokes painted a canvas of retaliation a masterpiece born from the palette of my suffering. Okay, but bro, there's a little. Oh wait. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Okay. Next page. As life drained from his eyes, I saw a reflection of my own loss. It was a macabre celebration. A dense of shadows in the absence of light. In that moment, I felt a strange sense of satisfaction, a perverted joy mingling with the echoes of his final breath. The one who could never comprehend the depths of my agony, but he became a vessel, a vessel that bore the weight of my grief and allowed me to taste the power I had lost. His death was not just his own, it was a ritual communion with the darkness that had claimed my soul. And as I left behind his lifeless form, I knew the journey had only just begun. The symphony of vengeance had played only its first notes, and each subsequent chord would be struck with the same ferocity that life had struck me. Okay, I forgot this man. Oh, I didn't see that. Didn't see that one. Oh, there's a code. Mm. Five, three. Seven. Well, I guess I just have to to guess. Now I have to dodge him. Ooh. Look at my dodging skills.
I got both cutters. Killer. Okay, developed by Diego Victor, some models made by El, El Boli Lordon, soundtrack made by Diego Victor. This was a pretty cool game. 